Ever since I was a kid, I've been absolutely terrified of being alone in a forest at night. There's something about the chaotic darkness. I, not knowing who or what is out there, when they're coming for me. I've never felt comfortable, and in fact, any time I've tried, I feel like I'm gonna die a gruesome death. But that all changes with today's Action Tech Review. So I've taken on a personal challenge to do a 2020 review of the Lumix GH5. Then my goal is to take the camera with me on a journey. So I'm going to attempt my first ever overnight solo camp out in a forest using the GH5, uh, using the camera as my, my companion, as my comrade. <laughs> what did I say? Buddy? Using the GH5 as my buddy. So anyways, let's jump into the review. Does the Lumix GH5 still hold up in 2020? Yes, absolutely yes. It's still a fantastic uh, 4K video camera and photo camera solution, and here's why. The significant features of the Lumix GH5 are still significant even three years after its original release. Because of that, this camera remains a real competitor in the mirrorless camera world. So here are some of the camera's MSF. Most significant features. The Panasonic Lumix GH5 camera shoots cinematic 4K video up to 60 frames per second with a bit rate of 150 megabytes per second at a 10-bit color depth. It comes with dual SD card slots and it captures videos without limits. It's adventure ready because it's fully weather sealed. It's dust proof, splash proof, freeze proof, and definitely not fireproof. It has a 21 megapixel sensor for shooting 6K photos and it has a five axis in body stabilization which works in tandem with stabilized Lumix lenses. In short, this camera is still amazing and its significant details are still relevant today for helping you to produce amazing content, whether it's photos or video. However, there are two things about this camera that bother me. Number one, the autofocus isn't perfect even after the latest firmware upgrade. It's okay, it's just not perfect. And number two, the menu has so many options that at times it can be a little frustrating to navigate. But that's it, those are the only two complaints I have for this camera. And now, it's time for a field test. and I'm scared feeling, I don't know how to get rid of it. I really don't. That's kind of the end of the industrial area. And now I'm going in there. You can't even see my hand. see this shape, this black shape somewhere and I just think, ah! like, I, like when I was riding up that hill, I thought I like heard people yelling like they're gonna come and get me, but it's just my mind like uh, playing tricks on me. My senses are so sharp out here. The 
The best thing I'm discovering right now is just to be distracted. <laughs> so I don't know if that's facing my fears or not. There's this little mouse over there running around like There's <laughs> a whole bunch of birds out here. Check out this view. So of course the night that I go to sleep outside for my first time in a forest, I dream about Hannibal Lecter and Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Come on, like, it's just so stupid. <laughs> Field test is over. I thought solo camping was gonna be really scary, and it was, but it was less scary because I had a conversation with my camera, I was shooting video, I was distracted, and because of that, I didn't have time to be afraid like I did in the past. But it would have been different without the camera. Like, the camera and I were connected, we were buddies, and because of that, I didn't feel alone, and I didn't feel afraid, that's the very first time that that's ever happened. So that's a wrap. Uh, the GH5 is still amazing in 2020 and an even better buddy than you may have realized. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the very next action tech review. Everything changes every which way you got to watch you stay